So Jeff, where did you find out about hydrogen fuel cells? Well, the guy across the road from me was getting one, so I thought I'll have a go at it too. Okay. And what research did you do yourself to find out about hydrogen fuel cells? Well, I went on the internet and had a look around and they recommended three different types and this was number two. Okay. And what made you choose this particular type? Well, I could get hold of this one easier. Okay. No worries. And where did you connect the hydrogen fuel cell in your engine of this particular car? What, the, the bottle? Yep. Yeah, just on the guard there which gets a lot of airflow through there from the fan. Okay. To try and keep it cool. Yep. No worries. And uh, in terms of where the actual vacuum hose connects up, whereabouts did you connect that to? Well, I put it into the main inlet so all, all the cylinders will get the, the gas flow through it because if I put it on the one end of it, you yep. only get one cylinder getting it. Yep. So if you put it in the main main inlet flow, yep. uh, all, all got it. Okay, beautiful. And what type of, you know, what fuel do you use to run this particular car? Well, it runs on fuel and gas. Yep. Uh, so, and but, so, so basically, yeah, normal petroleum fuel and yeah. LPG. LPG. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no worries. And have you tried different variations on where to connect up the vacuum hose? No, this is about the only spot you could really put it. Okay. On the main inlet, so well, all cylinders will get the gas. Right, yeah, beauty. Yeah. And uh, how long has the cell been in your particular vehicle, this particular vehicle here? Oh, it's been in about three months. Three months, yeah. yeah. And what sort of fuel economy have you noticed over that three months? Well, on a tank of gas, so I'm getting at least an extra 100 k's out of it. Okay. Out of a tank of gas. And if you could turn that into a percentage of an improvement, what, what sort of percentage would it be? Oh, it'd be sort of like around 30%. Okay, beauty. And what about performance? Have you noticed any performance improvements in the car? Well, the motor seems crisper, like when you're driving in the night in the cold, in the night and your motor seems real crisp, it seems that crisp, like it's like that all the time now. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. And whereabouts in your engine have you connected up this particular hydrogen fuel cell? Well, I've connected it up into the airflow into the engine the, yep. before it gets to the motor because yep. you can't put it up one end. Only a few cylinders will get the gas that way. Okay, beautiful. And with the, the actual hydrogen fuel cell yourself, how have you wired that into the vehicle? I've wired it into the ignition on this one because it's just on petrol. Yep. Uh, and when the motor starts, yep. uh, and I've also put a switch in the dash so it, in case I ever want to turn it off and not run it. Okay, beautiful. And what kinds of variations have you tried in terms of the, the vacuum, the gas being drawn into the engine? Have you tried different variations? No, well, basically only one place to put it into the main inlet pipe yep. going into the engine, so all cylinders get the hydrogen. Okay, beautiful. And how long has this cell been in this vehicle for? Uh, for around two months. Two months, yeah. And what sort of uh, fuel economy have you noticed in that time? Well, on a 150k trip up the highway, yep. uh, we used Around five litres fuel, less fuel with this gallon. Okay, so over 150 litres. Right. Yeah. So, in, in terms of a percentage okay. improvement, what sort of percentage improvement do you think it would be? Oh, probably 20 to 30 percent. Okay. Beauty. And in terms of performance of the engine, have you noticed any improved performance at all in this particular vehicle? No, well, it does seem to go better. Like. Like the car runs real crisp of the night time in the night air. Yeah. It seems to run like that all the time now. Okay. More crisper. Beauty. And would you recommend others to do, you know, to give hydrogen fuel cells a, a, an opportunity in their vehicle? Yeah, well, why, why not? It's, it only costs you water. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, beautiful. you first find out about hydrogen fuel cells? I had to make a mine on the internet. Okay. And I haven't got one, so it was one of the, I went around here and we spent half a day or half an hour or something on it. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. And Beautiful. And, and uh, yeah. Sorry mate, you go ahead. I don't, I don't want to put you in a bloody picture that I found your phone number and rang you and that's how it went. Okay, okay. And in terms of research, what sort of research did you do about hydrogen fuel cells? Oh, I kept going down to the um, library yeah. and getting books I could get out, all the books I could get from there. Yeah. 
And uh, I even went to the city and they bloody printed them out for me, you know. Yep, yep. And uh, I couldn't find anything that was, you know, that I could handle. You know, so I you just put ring you and then you got your thing. Yep, great. And in terms of um, when you got your hydrogen fuel cell, um, what sort of uh, connections, how did you connect it into the engine? Oh, uh, electrically, I just come from the ignition switch to a relay and, and put it on, on that way. You know, it's quite simple, really. Yep, yep. And, uh, and in terms of the vacuum, whereabouts did you connect? I tried a couple of spots and I reckon I've got the best spot now. It's halfway between the air cleaner and the uh, air intake, the uh, manifold in the, in the manifold. Beautiful. And in terms of um, the fuel cell, how long have you now had it in your vehicle for? Oh, four months, I suppose. Yeah, four months. And have you noticed any improvement in fuel economy? Oh, no, I don't check the fuel economy. I make my own fuel, so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, good. And in terms of performance of the, of the engine, have you noticed any improved performance? Yeah, I, yeah, definitely on the uh, night part. Night, it drives like I'm driving in the night time. Okay. It's quieter, in you know, it, and uh, quieter and, and, and a bit more power. A bit more power. So, yeah. so, it, it, what's some situations where you've you've really noticed there's improved power? Oh, I was uh, climbing up hills. Uh, well, I don't say climbing up hills, but going up a couple of hills that I go up very regularly. Yeah. It goes up over in the top gear where it used to go down and down again. Okay. 